In the upcoming week, the College of Charleston will be hosting many events in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. One event in particular, Moving Beyond Prejudice Day, is geared towards bringing awareness to critical issues in education. Today, we're talking to Dr. Reed Adams, education professor and event coordinator, to give you the 411 on what to expect on this day. The film that we're going to screen that night, move, uh, Prom Night in Mississippi, is a is a film that's part of my uh, research agenda. I study documentary films about schools, um, a number of them Waiting for Superman, Race to Nowhere, some that are a, a little more popular and well known, but Prom Night in Mississippi um, is one of the films that I've studied for research and it's, uh, it's also a film that I use in some of the critical issues graduate courses that I teach here at the College of Charleston. Well, it addresses segregation and desegregation, one of the topics that we study in the class is uh, the historic case Brown versus Board of Education which was forced integration in, uh, in public schools and because of the topic of the film they actually have their first integrated prom amazingly enough in 2008. Wow. Um, so it speaks to sort of that legacy of Brown and it complicates the issue that Brown versus Board of Education and that forced integration is sort of cut and dry and that there are fine lines between those considering that this was you know the 21st century and decades after the passage of Brown that these schools are holding separate proms. If you come out to see the film you'll see that students who speak and give commentary in it they're speaking the language of social justice and racial tolerance and, 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 and those issues that were that were major components of the civil rights movement. If students come to the screening, first of all they get a, a, a free viewing of a critically acclaimed documentary, Prom Night in Mississippi, um, I believe premiered at Sundance Film Festival. Um, they, it was shown in the White House a couple of weeks ago and we're bringing in the film's director, Paul Saltzman. Um, who has actually a history with the civil rights movement. He worked for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee in the 60s in Mississippi uh, doing voter registration and worked for Freedom Radio there, which was sort of the catalyst for him making the movie. So students get an opportunity to see the film um, and then they get an opportunity to actually meet and speak with the director about the film and he'll lead a short discussion afterwards um, he calls it Moving Beyond Prejudice is the title of the session. And it's an opportunity for students and community members, faculty members and staff, whoever, whoever chooses to attend, to give their reactions to the film um, and add a little more context to the issues that are covered in it by discussing their own experiences and maybe airing some issues and thoughts on prejudice, integration, segregation, those things. Uh, that they might not have another venue to do so. Students are highly encouraged to take advantage of Moving Beyond Prejudice Day, which will be hosted this Thursday, January 19th. For CTV News, I'm Sarah Veronis.